Hey, what's going on? All right, this will be card number 13. 13. Uh, this is the 2024 Top Star Wars Throwback Thursday. Uh, this is the gold. This is the one of one you see up there right under the logo. Uh, this is the 1957 Tops baseball design. So very cool. I absolutely love this image of Vader. I think it's so cool with the stormtroopers in the background there. Um, just such a cool image. And the 57 Tops baseball set is so iconic with the mantle and the maze and the Hank. All those cards are just, just you know, people know those. And it's just such a great design. So uh, I, I love the throwback, the throwback Thursday uh, concept in those sets. I think it was very creative and um, very, you know, just a very original idea from Tops. I think it's one of the best things they've done in Star Wars cards recently. And I'm really enjoying following along with it. And I was really happy to get this one because if I think of all the sets they've done, um, the 1957 Topps Baseball is, and this Vader specifically, is probably my favorite card that I've seen come out of there so far. There's a couple others that look really great, but um, some of the designs just aren't as conducive to a nice parallel as this is, but with this, it's just so simple, just a big, bold gold border. So, so good stuff here. They do gold one, uh, silver five, and, and bronze 10 with each release, and each, each release is, you know, uh, available for one week. So they show it on Thursday, take as many online orders as come in, and then that's the print run. So, you know, the total print run for the base version of this is probably like maybe a thousand cards or something like that. And then you'll have the, the, the parallels in there as well and some photo variations that fall uh, at a pull rate of one in 20, one in 20 on the photo variations. So, so yeah, three cards per week, uh, 12 cards total per, per set design. So for example, in 1957, Topps baseball design, there's 12, 12 different cards, so 11 other characters besides Vader. Um, and yeah, they release them in uh, packs of three each week on tops.com and, and you get a little write-up on the back here, show the set design, I think that's a nice touch. 1957 Topps baseball, set at 12 there, just like I said. And again, three new cards each week, so something I enjoy following. Haven't bought one in a while, but um, but yeah, I've got a couple of these in my collection now, and this one's obviously my favorite. Another cool thing about this I forgot was uh, PSA uh, obviously graded this. I sent it to them, and they they graded it, and then they posted it on their social media, on their Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, I thought that was really neat because I think that's the first time I've ever had PSA uh, post one of my cards on their on their Instagram or whatever. So I thought that was fun. Uh, I had SGC one time uh, re post my uh, Mookie Betts Super Fractor, but um, but yeah, I've never had a PSA uh, post like that, so that was kind of a, a new hobby experience for me. But but yeah, it's a, it's a great card. It would be higher. I mean, it's a one of one Darth Vader, but uh, the only thing that keeps it a little bit down is just the fact that it's not like a quote unquote pack pulled card from like a proper bo hobby box or set or anything like that. It's, you know, it's an online exclusive, still randomized, still comes in packs, quote unquote, but it's just a little bit different. So just one of those small variables that can kind of change the prominence of the card. Again, it's very, very high. I mean, this is number 13 out of a hundred. So, and everything, you know, in this range is really great. So, so yeah, not, not like it's uh, struggling or anything, but just, you know, you would think 101 Darth Vader, that maybe should be a bit higher, and that's sort of my rationale on why it's not. But, but yeah, uh, the Throwback Thursday 1957 Topps Vader, classic image, classic, classic set, and just a very, very beautiful Star Wars card. Definitely a cornerstone of that category for me. So appreciate you checking out the video. Come back again, and we'll look at some more cards getting towards the end here. All right, take it easy, everybody.